Hi everyone, let's begin sitting in Sukhasana, easy seated pose. So your sits bones are rooted down on the earth. Lift and lengthen the spine. You can sit on a bolster here or a pillow to give your hips a little bit more space to open up. Rest your palms face down on your knees and close the eyes. Relax the jaw. Relax the skin on the face. Take a big breath in through the nose as you lift and lengthen through the spine. Top of the crown is reaching towards the sky. And an easy exhale, keeping that length in the spine, but rooting down through the earth. And begin to arrive here with yourself letting go of your day, letting go of your week, making the commitment to be here with yourself for the next 30 minutes, to breathe, to connect, and to let go. Reach your fingertips out to the side, bring your chin to your chest as you lift through the spine On an inhale, flip the palms up towards the sky, open up the chin, touch the palms together. Exhale, press the energy away from you, chin to chest, keeping that length in the spine. Again, inhale, reach up. Exhale, press the energy away from you, chin to chest. Inhale, gathering up positive energy. And on the exhale, sweeping away all that no longer serves you. And then inhale, come back to center. Good, go ahead and rock that left ear over your left shoulder, breathing into the neck trapezius muscle and then roll it to the center and roll your right ear over your right shoulder and breathe and then come back to center inhale sweep the arms up palms come together exhale bring them right to your heartbeat touch your thumbs to your heartbeat slight tilt in your chin I always like to offer a moment, yogis, for you to set what's called a sankalpa or your personal intention for your practice. This can always be a very simple mantra to simply be here now or anything personal to you. Say it silently to yourself, sealing it at your heart. Big breath in, big breath out. Big breath in and a big breath out. Good, open the eyes, release your legs out in front of you, shake them out and switch the cross of your legs. And let's do a seated cat cow here. So rest your palms on your knees. Beautiful, on the inhale, the heart comes forward, open up the chin, exhale, round and curl, chin to chest, navel to spine. Flow like this with your breath. Inhale, open. Exhale, undulate the spine, chin to chest, round and curl. Inhale, bring your heart forward. Exhale, round and curl, breathe. Beautiful, inhale, come back to center. Release your left palm over to your left and tip it on over, sweeping your right arm up towards the sky and then reaching that bicep over the ear and breathe. A nice lateral stretch on your right side. Easy through the neck. And then inhale, press down to rise back up and tip it on over to your right. Beautiful. 
planting that right palm, left arm reaches up and breathe. Reach that bicep over the ear, getting a little more space, big breath into your left lung. Exhale it out. Good, and then inhale, take it back up to center. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale, twist to your left. Beautiful, right hand, left knee, left fingertips behind you. Squeeze the lower belly for a gentle twist here and breathe. And then bringing your gaze forward, that back arm comes up and around, grabbing the opposite knee, forward fold, chin to chest, and breathe. So grabbing opposite knees here for stability, a little sway. Squeeze your belly, inhale, round and curl it up. Inhale, reach both arms up. Exhale, twist to your right. Left palm, right knee right fingertips behind you. Keep that spine nice and long. Gentle twist as you squeeze the belly. And then look forward, bring that back arm up and forward. Grab a hold of your opposite knee, finding that forward fold and relax the head and neck and find that sway. Beautiful, inhale around and curl it up. Sweep the arms all the way up. Exhale, bring your palms right to your heartbeat. Beautiful job. Let's come into a tabletop position. Good, come into cat pose, so rounding and curling, navel to spine. Come onto a fist with your hands, get a little bit more room in the back of the body. Go ahead and rock your right ear to your right Shoulder as your hips go left and left ear to your left shoulder as your hips go right. Just breathing big here. Beautiful. And then walk your palms one palm print forward. Tuck your toes. Squeeze your belly. Downward facing dog. Good. Pedal your feet. Move organically in Adho Mukha Svanasana. Shake your head, yes and no. Beautiful, the chest melts towards the thighs. The knees can be bent the whole time as your tailbone reaches towards the sky. Go ahead and open up your feet, mat width apart. So the hands and the feet are our foundation. And then inhale, come high up on your tippy toes, squeeze the quadriceps. Exhale, let the heels descend to the earth. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift high up on those toes. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Exhale, release, opening up the backs of the legs. And then go ahead and walk your hands back towards your feet. Grab opposite elbows for a wide Uttanasana forward fold at the back of your mat. Good, breathe, breathe, breathe. Keep that bend in the knee to release the back. And then release your arms. Squeeze your belly as you round and curl all the way up. Inhale, sweep the arms all the way up. Bring your palms together. Slide your tailbone towards the earth, a soft bend in your knee. And then exhale, swan dive the arms, forward fold, beautiful. Walk your palms forward and find downward facing dog. Breathe. And then inhale forward to a high plank. Beautiful, head, heart and hips come into alignment. Drop your heels over to the left. Keep your gaze down between your hands. Back to center, drop the heels over to the right. Back to center, drop them to the left. Maybe that right arm comes all the way up. Exhale, center. 
and take it on over to the right. Inhale, sweep that left arm up. Exhale, back to center. Squeeze your belly, lift your hips. Downward facing dog, beautiful. Bend your knees and slowly begin to walk up, breathing big towards the front of your mat. Uttanasana, forward fold. Grab the backs of the ankles here. Head and neck hang loose. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Really grounded through the feet. And then release your hands again Squeeze your belly round and curl all the way up. Inhale, circle the arms all the way up. Exhale, palms together. Bring them right to your heart center. Beautiful. Feel nice and grounded here. Standing into Dasana. Inhale, sweep the arms all the way up. Exhale, forward fold, graceful to the earth. Inhale, halfway lift, flatten your back. On the exhale, step your left foot all the way back. So you're on the ball of the back foot. Find your foundation and then inhale, coming up to your high crescent lunge. Exhale, bending both knees lower. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift and exhale lower beautiful sweep your left arm underneath your right finding eagle arms so maybe you cross a finger or the hands and then find that little movement here inhale both legs straighten exhale bend breathing into the back of the body the shoulders are opening here moving with your breath and then inhale, release the arms, sweep them all the way up. Exhale, clasp the hands behind you or grab opposite elbows. Nice, opening the heart, the front of the body, the shoulder girdle, and breathe. That front knee is bent, strong through the feet. Inhale, release your arms, reach them all the way up. Exhale, look at your front foot, bring your fingertips down, step your left foot forward, finding Parsvo Tanasana, forward fold. Both knees can be bent here. Lift and lengthen through the spine and exhale, bow in. Stay really grounded through the feet and breathe with every exhale in our yoga practice. We move into the space. Awesome, yogis. And then pivot that left heel down, finding your triangle shape. Inhale, sweep that left arm up towards the sky. Squeeze your quadriceps strong through the feet. Tuck your tailbone. Inhale. Awesome. And then exhale. Look down. Beautiful. Come into a low lunge, beautiful, slowly drop the left knee, bringing your hips back, coming into Ardha Hanumasana. Good, half split, breathe. Very slowly walk your hands back, bring your seat all the way down, open up that left knee. Awesome. Begin to lower your right forearm on the inside of that right leg and tip it on over, reaching that left arm up and over. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Beautiful. Stay flexed through that right foot. Maybe you catch a toe here and you never have to. So wherever you are is perfect. Nice opening in the thigh. Beautiful, and then inhale, lift everything back up. Awesome, slowly bring your legs together, extend them out in front of you, coming into reverse 
plank pose, Purusvottanasana. So point your toes, palms come behind you, squeeze your belly as you lift your hips. Open up the chin. And then meeting right back in downward facing dog and breathe. Pedal it out, come back to your center. Big breath in. Big breath out. Good, and then look to the middle of your mat. Bend your knees and take a slow walk up to the front of your mat. Uttanasana, forward fold. Keep your knees bent, a little sway here. Stay really grounded through your feet and then squeeze your belly as we round and curl all the way up. Sweep the arms all the way up on an inhale. Exhale, palms to heart center. Good, other side, inhale, reach up. Exhale, open wide, forward fold, Uttanasana. Good, inhale, lift and lengthen, Ardha Uttanasana, halfway lift. And then exhale, step your right foot all the way back. Come onto the ball of the back foot, squeeze your belly and we rise. Finding our high lunge, everything comes up. Exhale, bending into the lunge, good. Inhale, reach. Exhale, high crescent lunge. Relax your face, inhale, reach. On the exhale, weave your right arm under the left, coming into our eagle arms, everything straightens. Exhale, lunge. Inhale, lift, breathe into the back of the shoulder blades. Exhale, lower. One more, inhale, everything up. Exhale, come back to crescent lunge, slowly unwind. Inhale, reach all the way up. Exhale, clasp your hands behind you. Inhale, open the chest. Those shoulder blades are hugging the spine. Breathe, breathe, breathe. On the ball of the back foot, front knee is bent. Stay really grounded here. Beautiful. And then inhale. Sweep the arms all the way up, exhale, look down, bring your fingertips down, step that right foot forward for Parsvottanasana, breathe. And remember, you can always keep the knees bent, find a little sway in the spine here. Stay really grounded through the front toe. Inhale, lift and lengthen the spine, keep the neck long, and then exhale, bow over the front leg. Both feet really grounded, that back foot's pivoted 45 degrees. Good, and then preparing for Uttita Trikonasana triangle. So pivot that right foot heel down, adjust your stance as you need, and then inhale, sweep that right arm all the way up to the sky, finding your triangle. Tuck the tailbone, engage the quadriceps, so squeeze and lift your kneecaps. Big breath in, big breath out. Beautiful, look down, come back into a low lunge. Gently lower the right knee and shift your hips back for Ardha Hanumasana, half split. Breathe, breathe, breathe. So slowly making your way back with the hips as best you can. And again, if this doesn't feel good for you, we don't go there. If you feel good, come all the way down with your seat. Open up that right knee. Good. Place your left hand on the inside of that left leg. Inhale, sweep that right arm all the way up. And exhale, maybe tip it over, bicep over the ear. You might find a toe, maybe not, and you never have to. We're just breathing, exploring. Every yoga practice is a personal journey, so honor your breath. You are exactly where you should be. 
little sway here, a nice lateral stretch. And then inhale, coming all the way back up, slowly bring the legs together, prepare for that reverse plank, Porsvottanasana, point the toes, plant your palms behind you, squeeze your belly, lift your hips, open the chin if that feels okay for you. And then exhale, look forward, gently bring your seat down. Beautiful, inhale, reach both arms all the way up, coming into Paschimottanasana, a forward fold. So again, your knees can be bent. You might catch a toe, the ankles or the shin, and breathe. Again, backs of the legs really opening up here. Relax your chin, relax the face, soften your jaw, see where you can soften. Remember, we inhale, we create the space, and the exhale, we move into it. I'm tapping into a little bit of stillness here with your breath. Beautiful, slowly round and curl all the way down to your back. So bring your head, your neck, your shoulders are all the way down. Beautiful, bring that right knee into your chest, interlace your fingers over the shin, give it a nice squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Beautiful. And then coming into a half, a happy baby, if you have this space, you're gonna catch the bottom of your foot, bring the sole of your foot up towards the sky, maybe open up that leg. Just explore here. Feel that nice opening in your right hip. And just rest your left palm on your belly or your hip. Relax the shoulders and breathe. Beautiful, and then inhale back to center, exhale, take that knee over to the left for a spinal twist. Extend your right arm out to the right, rest your left palm on your belly or your thigh and see if you can soften every muscle here. Scan the body with your breath. Good, and then inhale, take it back to center and switching sides. Go ahead and draw in that left knee, hugging it in, breathing big. And take that half a happy baby if that feels good for you on this side. And open up the leg, see what's going on. You can always use a strap here for this. Use your props. There's no rules, no right or wrong. Every yoga practice, we're feeling different. Relaxing the shoulders, relaxing the face. Big breath in. Big breath out as you bend the knee. Take that knee all the way over to the right. Extend your left arm out to the left, palm facing up and breathe so feel a nice opening in the lower back let it be a nice yummy spinal twist here softening the heartbeat as we prepare the body for shavasana the final resting pose good and then come back to center bring both knees into your chest squeeze your belly lift your head <clears throat> your shoulders Hug the body in tight, tight, tight. Scrunch your face, big breath in. Exhale, release everything down. That left foot comes to the left corner of your mat. The right foot comes to the right corner of your mat. Relax your arms down at your side with the palms 
facing up and take a big breath in big breath out as you relax and close the eyes allow the tongue to fall from the roof of your mouth coming back to your own natural breathing pattern so softening the forehead the eyebrows relaxing the shoulders the chest relaxing the arms the backs of the hands and each finger softening the hips the entire spine the tops of the legs the backs of the legs the knees the shins relaxing the calves relaxing the heels into the earth tops of the feet bottoms of the feet and each toe coming back to complete peace So yogis, you stay here as long as your soul is asking for. Otherwise, slowly begin to wiggle your fingers and your toes. Bend one foot at a time. Take your right arm over the head and roll your body to the right. Come into a fetal position and this always represents a new beginning for your mind, your body and your spirit. Take a big breath in and a big breath out as you slowly make your way up to a seated position and we'll close our practice together. Relax your hands on your thighs, lengthen the spine, find a slight tilt in your chin and close the eyes. Reach your arms out wide, take a big inhale, bring your palms together. Exhale, thumbs to your third eye. I know the truth. Bring your palms right in front of your throat. I speak the truth. And bring them right to your heartbeat where I always feel the truth. The light within me honors the light within you. Thank you for trusting me to guide your practice. Om Shanti, peace, peace, peace be with you always. Namaste. Hi everyone, thank you so much for practicing. If you enjoyed this class, please be sure to click the like button and subscribe and stay tuned for more classes here on Lisa Yoga Angel and be sure to follow me on Instagram for daily inspiration as well. So I'll see you on the mat. Have a beautiful day. Namaste.